Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's a classic haul. Tell you about the makeup, skincare, fragrances, makeup tools that I purchased for the past few months during my trip in Korea and the ones that I purchased with my earnings as a content creator here, micro content creator. I've accumulated a lot of products. Let's just begin. <laughs> it's important to give a disclaimer the products here that i purchased i got them during my trips and also purchases using my content creator earnings through affiliate links or ad revenue dito sa aking youtube channel i don't earn a lot but at least it's what i use in order to create more content for you guys oh there are some things that i purchased here from my own pocket meaning it's not coming from those earnings and hindi ko binili through the trip budget that my husband and I have agreed on when we go abroad. I know that these videos could be triggering for some, especially if nagpipigil kayo sa pag shopping. It's my job as a content creator here. Trying new stuff is part of the job. I do get stuff sent in PR, but I also want to purchase things in order to, you know, create a balance para hindi puro PR lang pinag usapan natin. Ayan, I don't necessarily have all the prices in my head right now, so I'm just going to place the prices in the description box ko, together with the product links. Details will be there, and related videos na rin, because some of these products I've tried on already and have film content. So, ayan, I hope you guys check those out. And I think we'll begin na lang first with the products that I purchased from Korea. Ah, so super exciting lang talaga because I think we've set a budget, a total of 6,000 pesos ata for the entire trip. Seven days yung uh, trip namin. In my head, I want to purchase yung mga staples ko sa aking skincare routine, like my husband and I's skincare routine. We share skincare. And also, some makeup products that I've been wanting to try. Gusto ko sanang gamitin itong products na to as well for like a full face of K-beauty sana na video. I think that would be fun. Medyo nag-over the budget ako dito, but kikwento ko na lang later. So, the first things that I got were skincare. Kasi sa Olive Young, they have a lot of parang promotion. Buy one, take one, or buy one and get a mini sort of promotion. So, ito muna yung Laneige Cream Skin Serap Peptide Refiner. This cream skin toner has always been a staple sa akin. Like, I've went through so many bottles of this one kasi I just really, really love this product. As a dry skin girly, I adore this formula so much because it's super hydrating. And then yung texture niya nagiging parang thicker. It's kind of like this toner moisturizer hybrid. Now sometimes there are nights when I'm super tired. Now after I clean my face, removed my makeup and all, ito na lang yung product na nililagay ko. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm so surprised all the time that my skin is not dry, tight, you know, yung normal symptoms of dry skin. And my husband, even though that he's oily skin, this is something that he always looks for na rin. Like no na hindi siya na sanay kasi it becomes thick yung kanyang texture, but nasanay na rin siya at nagustuhan niya na. This one is yung parang set nila na get the full size and then may free na 50ml. Um, I forgot na yung price niya, pero I think mga 1, 1k ata to for both. The reason why I went ahead and purchased this, syempre, aside from being a staple, I really want to bring this during my travels. And so this tiny bottle, I think, would fit in my travel skincare bag. At tapos, ito na lang is for the house. I do have one more cream skin refiner in my bathroom right now. And the one that we have, by the way, sa aming bathroom was the old one, yung classic nila na packaging. nag brand kasi yung Laneige. Um, In-update nila yung kanilang packaging and all. And of course, they're always innovating and improving their formula. So this one, meron ng syrup peptide na ingredient there. I'm not really sure what it is yet. I haven't really thought about it or researched about it, but I'm just really, really excited to try this new version ng Cream Skin Refiner. So, yeah. I just... Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have been in my YouTube channel, I think yung first kong giveaway kasama yung Cream Skin Refiner. So, it's been with me for years now. I'm still talking about it. So you know that I actually love that. This is from Goodall. It's their sunscreen. It's tape siya, so hindi ko mabubuksan. So it's a sunscreen and one plus one siya, you guys. When I was in Olive Young, like I wanted to purchase sana yung Dr. G 
uh, red blemish sun cream ata yun. Kasi may 1 plus 1 promotional set din sila. But then my sister, she said na, oh, mag I know about this. Like, I, I've seen this. An influencer, you know, recommended it. And I really love my Dr. G sun cream, you guys, because of its formula. And it also has some Centella Asiatica in it to soothe my skin. I really love Centella Asiatica. But this one has heart leaf extract, which soothes the skin as well. Pero, you know, when I tested this, I ko, oh, this is even lighter than yung Dr. G. Tapos yung price point niya kasi is too attractive. Like, I think 600 pesos each lang ito or either 600 pesos for the both of them. Kasi popost ko ng somewhere dito sa screen yung price niya per unit. My husband did like the Dr. G but I was hoping that he would like this more kasi mas lighter yung kanyang texture for his oily skin. So, we're not sure about this product yet, okay? But I'm really, really excited to try it. Ang kalalabasan nito, it's a backup kasi marami pa kaming skincare dito sa aming skincare stash. However, sunscreen kasi is something that we use every day, even indoors, kahit di kami lumalabas ng bahay, we use sunscreen. So, I don't feel as bad to stock up on sunscreen. But I think this is the last draw. Like, I don't plan to purchase any sunscreen na kasi I think we have plenty na to go through. Yun lang basically yung skincare na binili ko from Olive Young. And then, I purchased some makeup that I wanted to try. Let's go first itong Roman products. Honestly, major may regret ako dito because I didn't check Shopee when I was purchasing these. Kampante ako na I would get a cheaper price kasi number one, nasa Korea ko, and number two, there's tax-free parang may refund siya doon. However, even with the tax-free price, mas muro pa pala to sa Shopee, ah. Regular price. ba May vouchers pang pa Shopee pa minsan-minsan. So, definitely mas mura sana kung binili ko to sa Shopee app mismo instead of Olive Young. So, if you're going to Korea, make sure that you check the Shopee prices kasi mas mura sometimes dito than the prices in Korea Olive Young. So the first product that I got from Roman is this Better Shape Better Than Shape nila. It's like a contour and a bronzer in one. Oh my god. What the hell happened? Pero ayan siya. Ganyan yung itsura niya. So there, medyo nag-loosen yung pan niya. But ito yung itsura niya, you guys. I have it in the shade 01. Shade niya is oat grain. Ayan. I wanted to try this one for Roman because I don't really have any contouring, bronzing sort of product from a Korean brand. And I thought that the lighter shade would be a good nose contour and then the deeper shade would be more for my cheekbones and sculpting my cheekbones. So I'm really, really excited to try this because I always had my eye on it but I just couldn't justify purchasing it yet. And so I thought na I'll just make a try on Korea Beauty content for you guys. Para at least mabawi man lang konti yung investment. The next product that I purchased from Roman is their mascara. I got yung kanilang Han All Fix Mascara. It's not black para maiba naman. This is L02 Long Ash. Yun yung pangalan nung variant na pinili ko. And I'm really excited because I've never tried a brown mascara before, o ba? And kailangan natin i-justify yung mga purchases, you guys. <laughs> Kung bakit ko yun binili. The last makeup product that I purchased from Olive Young is this one from Hins. I've been wanting to try something from Hins, like yung foundation nila because I've been hearing good things about it from Jessie. Si Jessie from at Hello Jesso on Instagram and TikTok. Do check her out because I do love her content as well. It's really cute and if you like perfumes, go there na rin. And I've been eyeing this blush from them. Like, talaga nagsasign up ako dun sa mga seeding programs ng mga marketing companies ng Korean brands and I never got the chance. Hindi pa hindi ako parating pinipili. But anyway, I got my hands on this and ito, good deal to sa Korea because I think it was around 900 pesos whereas if it's here in the Philippines, you buy it here, I think 1,000 plus siya. So anyway, it comes with a cream here, cream formula, and then merong kang powder blush there. You can combine them or use them individually, diba. So I thought that it was really cute. I don't really have a product like this. Patrick Ta blushes yung concept niya. I really wanted this brown shade kasi that's why ito yung shade na pili ko. By the way, if you plan to go to Olive Young, another tip that I want to impart with you guys is that kung maraming Olive Young around the area, hop on to the different Olive Young stores kasi sometimes itong mga promotions nila na packaging, itong 
promotional set nila out of stock. I noticed that when I was shopping in Somyon, like there was one branch that seems bigger. Meron silang mga international brands like Urban Decay, Clinique, ganon. And then the other branch doesn't have those brands. No, they don't carry those brands. And in the same branch that has the Urban Decay, Clinique, and so on, they didn't have this one. They have the individual sun cream, but wala sila netong parang set. So hindi na ako bumili doon, you guys. I went back to the other branch that has this. And that's where I pushed through with the purchase. So, ayun lang. Make sure to go all of young hopping. Malay mo, diba? You may be missing out on a promotional set doon. This is another skincare product that I purchased from Korea, but this one sa convenience store na. It's Dr. G Red Blemish Clear Soothing Cream. I actually purchased this na before, nung pumunta ko sa Korea around March to April, like before Holy Week. I got again yung parang promotional set nila, but hindi ko pa sila kasi na open, and so hindi ko sila napak. My husband's skin kasi is acting up, like parang na irritate siya, I guess, from the stress, puyat, and so na trigger yung parang allergies na sa kanyang skin. And so, I needed something that is soothing, ganon. And I didn't pack anything like this kasi I mostly packed um, lightweight moisturizers kasi nga it was hot there. It helps soothe my husband's skin and the next morning, it was a lot better. Hindi na siya nag-red, hindi na siya nagiging dry and all. So yeah, this one is really good and this one will forever live na dun sa aming travel skincare bag. So, yun lang yung mga makeup and skincare purchases that I got from Korea. But I also got something else. And ito yung reason kung bakit ako nag-over-budget, you guys. I got this really, really cute top from the brand called Roem. Like, think of foam, but change the P to an R. And yun yung brand niya. I plan to buy from their sales section kasi gusto kong magtipid, of course. I looked around lang and saw this top. It's a white top with puff sleeves. It has this parang twisting detail dito sa chest. And meron din siyang peplum cut dito. And I think it's just so me. It's so feminine. It exudes so much feminine energy and very like sophisticated vibes ganoon. Pero at the same time, very youthful din, di ba? As soon as I tried this on, my mom and dad and my husband encouraged me to get it, okay? So it's not really my fault. Like, sinabi ko sa kanila na, I'm gonna get over budget here. But they insisted to get it na kasi maganda daw yung fit sa akin. And so yeah, I ended up getting it because I got a lot of positive reactions from my family. I'm really, really happy and excited to try the products that I got from Korea. And now, I think let's move on to makeup tools kasi konti lang naman sila, okay? I don't know if this is considered as makeup tools, but I got more Dashing Diva Press On Nails. I used to be like a gel extensions kind of girl, but because of my lifestyle, I couldn't live with long nails. So I think that press on nails are super convenient. If you didn't have time to set a nail appointment, you could just press this on and put this on your nails, pop it on, diba? Tapas you can remove it if you want to remove it, diba? So itong Dashing Diva Magic Press, I actually had one na before. I've tried it on and I had really, really good um, experience from this. Binili ko to specifically because I wanted to go to the Easy Rave. My work schedule was just so busy. Like, I couldn't set an appointment to the nail technician dito sa aming province. So, I ended up purchasing this one alang. However, on the day of the event, medyo basa yung kamay ko. Like, nagmamadali na ako in everything because I was running late. Pasmado ako. So, there was like residual oils. There was sweat on my fingernails. So, bigla na lang siya nagtutuklap-tuklap. And kind of sad lang nangyari. I didn't end up wearing the nails to the event. Like, nakapag-picture pa ako. Pero before I left the condo, like, nagtutuklap na siya. And so, I was thinking of a better solution that would make them last longer. And bumili rin ako at parang itong nail stickers. Right? Bumili pa ako ng extra nail stickers in addition to the stickers that is already present in the press on nails. Para at least ma-strengthen yung adhesive dito sa aking nails. And malesan lang yung issue ng pagtuklap. So, I haven't tried that technique or hack yet, so I'll get I'll give you guys a feedback siguro on my stories or something. I know that they're kind of pricey, you guys. Like there's like 50 pesos at sa Shopee or 100 pesos lang. I didn't go for those because parang you put like instant glue on your nails and that will damage your nails. And my nails are already weak to begin with, so I didn't want to further damage them. And so ito na lang yung choice ko. Okay, the next thing that I purchased is this black palette from uh, Shopee. And I think it's sure you guys. It's this Mufe inspired magnetic palette. I know that this shape is very familiar. And the reason why I purchased this is to make space. I just recently organized my single eyeshadow collection because 
I was lucky enough to receive PR from Issy, yung kanilang eye and face collection. I needed to move these away and I knew that this shape perfectly fits all the Inglot eyeshadows that I have. So, ayan, sinat aside ko na lang sila so that itong palette na to specifically, I know that it's going to be my Inglot eyeshadows. And I didn't buy na yung sa Issy palette para lang maiba siya and easily distinguishable siya. Even though I don't see the contents inside this palette, I already knew in my like my mind na yun yung products na hinahouse inside this magnetic eye palette. Naglagay na rin ako ng stickers dito para cute kasi ewan ko ba, hindi ko maintindihan bakit nila nilagay ng sticker ito. So nung pag remove ko, there's like the residual adhesive from the sticker na naiwan. So tinakpan ko na lang with the stickers of succulents here para cute lang. Ewan ko, design lang. I think that the plain black design is boring anyway to begin with. I bought some fragrances as well for my friend because she was decluttering. She was trying to let go some of the products that she has and I got these ones from her. This one is inspired by Santal 33 from Le Labo. And ito naman is from Baccarat Rouge, yung the ever-famous one na ang dami-dami ng dupes out there. I smelled Santal Le Labo in the airport on the way home and I fell in love with it. Gustuhan ko from the brand is yung kanilang matcha scent and this one. Nung nakita ko that she was trying to declutter this, I was like, mine. Mine ag... <laughs> <laughs> Nag-mine na ako agad because I heard a lot of good things about this brand and maganda rin yung kanyang packaging. I really like the vibe that it has. So, nag-mine na ako dyan. I-reserve ko na. And ito naman, itong Ilium Studios EDP. I love the scent of Baccarat Rouge. I had a... I had a small decant before and I really enjoyed it. It grew on me. I liked it, but I didn't like it enough to buy the full size, no? Yung... Yung from MFK mismo. So, bumili na lang ako neto because I think it's cheaper alternative and I need to be a little more practical when it comes to scents, okay? Scents can be very expensive and I know that you're also paying for their craft, yung creativity, the nose who created the composition of the scent and all that, but majority of which you're paying for the premium feel, the prestige value from the brand itself. So these two are really practical choices and I got them at a discount. I think I got a good deal from both of these and have been enjoying it, no? Sinama ko na rin dito sa haul na to some of the products that I received from a good friend of mine. This is a palette that I called Dibs from her collection. Ito yung Vice Cosmetics Aura Collection Solstice Dream. Ito talaga yung product na gusto gusto kong try from Vice Cosmetics Aura Collection. I mean, look at that. Doesn't it remind you of Hourglass? I really love the baked formulas. I wanted to explore more finishing powder. So, ito yung Moonlight Shade is a finishing powder. This blush is calling my name. I mean, look at that marbling. I am really obsessed about baked blushes. I wish that there were more. Ito pa is another baked bronzer. And you know how much I love my baked bronzer from Revlon. Mm, I'm so sad that this continued yon. I tried this already in a video. Siguro yung blush lang tsaka yung finishing powder. So I'll link it down below na lang for you guys to check it out. Para malaman yung kung ano yung thoughts ko with those two products so far. And then she sent me a ton of clear gel products. Clear WM Brow Lift. I know that they've already released the iPhone versions of the Brow Lift. So hindi na siya ganun ka-updated I guess. But, and then she sent me itong Choo Choo Clear Brow Gel. Tapos itong brow gel as well from Issy. So I'm really thankful na I received this kasi I've been wanting to try this, especially yung Vice. She knows how much I wanted to try the Vice. And mula na rin akong clear brow gel sa aking collection. So thank you, friend. This one is an advanced gift from my husband. And it's this Seahorse palette from Adept Cosmetics. Like, ah! This is my Christmas gift na from him. So, hindi na ako pwede mag-request ng Christmas gift sa kanya. I'm telling it to you guys for accountability, ha? Like, hindi ko talaga siya kukulitin. And he's looking, he's smiling at me right now. So, future Kara, wag mo nang kulitin yung kasama mo, okay? Pwento na itong palette. Let me just tell you. No unang nilabas ito, okay? Meron siyang 20% off. Parang like a launch promotion or something. So, kinukulit ko yung husband ko. Like, sinabi ko sa kanya, please get this for me. Kasi, look at that. It's a palette full of multi-chromes, full of shimmers. And I'm like, 
kinukulit ko talaga siya. Like, sabi ko, okay, um, birthday gift mo na yan sa akin. But sabi niya, may birthday gift na daw ko. And I was like, sige na nga, Christmas gift na lang. Christmas gift mo na lang sa akin, please. Like, talagang I really want it. I don't have a palette like this. Tapos, sinabi ko pa sa kanya na, Okay, it's full of multi-chromes. It's full of that RGB shimmers that you really, really like. And sabi niya, okay, fine. So, after many efforts of Colette, I got my way and <laughs> bought this for me. And so, yeah, this is it. And I feel sad whenever I see this palette because I've never tried it on. Hindi ko pa natatry, nasusubukan yung guys, because... I wanted to film this. Like, I wanted to create content. Like, this very aesthetic reel. And I've never... <laughs> na film ko na, pero hindi ko pa siya na-edit. And I used a macro lens for this. Pero apparently, yung lente na ginamit ko was the wrong one. Kasi wide angle pala siya, tsaka ma macro lens. But yeah, I need to refilm this with a macro lens. So, ayan. I just wanted to show it to you guys. I mean, you wouldn't see or appreciate siguro yung... Uh, shifts niya, but sa akin, like, it's so pretty. Wala na talaga akong karapatan na to have a Christmas gift from my husband. Pero, the reason why I wanted it kasi it's magnetic as well. So, he was convinced. He was convinced. And I'm really happy about that. I purchased itong plus full glycolic acid 7% toner because yung pixie glow tonic ko pa na like it's on the last leg and I don't have a stock of glycolic acid toner sa akin. I specifically wanted yung glycolic acid because it's more aggressive. It's going to give me, you know, faster result as opposed to mandelic acid or lactic acid. Just look at it. It's just so matibay. Like, it feels quality to me. And the art aesthetic is just too cute. And I'm even surprised that the packaging of the actual product is made from glass. Like, it feels so heavy. I don't understand how this could be around 400 pesos lang. I'm hoping that the quality of the product itself, like yung actual glycolic toner, is as good as the packaging, okay? At least, or even better sana. Like, I would see results and it's enough to replace yung Pixi Glow Tonic because I've been loving that a lot. I didn't use yung earnings ko from social media to purchase this. This is more like a personal purchase for me. Another skincare product that I purchased is this one from Fairy Skin. Premium Tinted Sunscreen SPF 50 PA Quadruple Plus. There's a lot of buzz around this brand, alright? From what I see around social media, I felt like it has dominated the sunscreen, Filipino sunscreen market because of its affordability. Like, yung sunscreen niya talaga, like, a lot of influencers are using this. The price point is very affordable, very approachable for everyone who's a skincare enthusiast or wanting to get into skincare, di ba? I didn't purchase na yung kanilang sunscreen just because I have my doubts. I haven't fully trusted it yet, okay? Yung product na yon. But I went for their premium tinted sunscreen anyway because I just wanted to try something from them. When I purchased this one, medyo brand new pa siya. Like, it was trending everywhere. But right now, I think it has died down. And I bought this because I wanted to review it as well. Naintriga ako sa kanyang claims because it was very contradictory, actually. I just don't understand their claims masyado. Their copyright is questionable uh, sa akin. Gusto ko lang malamay yung chismis about that product. The next thing that I purchased as well is uh, products from Strokes Beauty Lab Complexion Veil Collection. So I purchased four products from them and you guys voted the products that I'm going to try. Ito yung apat na nanalo, yung kanilang Spot Veil Corrector, yung Press Powder, Pin ako na bahalang pumili ng shades, no? Yung Flawless Veil Finishing Powder. You guys also voted for this, yung kanilang Skin Veil Cooling Setting Mist. And of course, their Soft Veil Filter Foundation. You guys seem to be interested to want to know my thoughts about this foundation specifically. And so, yeah, I already posted a video about it. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're curious about my thoughts about it. I need to test these products more, yun na lang, um, with other complexion products sa aking collection just to see how it meshes well with other formulas. And ayun, I'll just link it down below for you guys para malaman nyo yung thoughts ko on how they performed itong products na to together on my skin type. I think this is one of the purchases that I'm most proud of because I'm proud of myself for waiting for a good deal and I got these happy skin I got this for only one five like both of these products one five lang and I'm like wow sobrang I thought it was a good deal like sobrang good deal because this one 
retails for 2,200 pesos. There are times na si Shopee nagpo-put out ng 600 pesos na voucher and si Happy Skin naman may voucher din siya na 100, 120 pesos. And so if I use that voucher, 1,500 ang kalalabasan nito. I I purchased it, canceled it because I felt guilty and I know that I didn't need another brush set sa aking collection. I just purchased new brushes from OVW. So after waiting for a while, naglabas si Shopee ng 50% off voucher, minimum purchase of 2,000 pesos, maximum discount of 1,500 ata. I couldn't remember na exactly. And saktong lumabas din kasi tong Generation Happy Skin Stay Fresh Blurring Skin Tint. I wanted to try it too. So when I combine these purchases, tas ginamit ko yung 50% of voucher na yon. Laki sobrang discount. O ba yung first attempt ko in buying list, 1.5 siya. And because I waited for a better deal, I had a free skin tint. O ba? Filmed a try on of this brushes, as you can see, it's kind of dirty now. I've not tried the sponge because it was lost when I was filming that video. In the video, I also tried this as well. So check nyo na lang ko ano yung first impressions ko of both these products, yung initial thoughts ko about it. Of course, it's not gonna be a full review yet kasi syempre, I need to try it more with different products, different techniques, and all that stuff. Okay, just for transparency, yung 1.5 Neto came from my earnings dun sa YouTube AdSense ko. So I was able to afford these. And for review nga again, we're down to the last purchase and this purchase was sponsored by myself. Not sponsored by yung earnings ko from social media. I got more of Lovely Cosmetics Glimmer eyeshadows because it was 50% off after 99. Like, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't expect it. Like, tinitingnan ko nga yung kanilang shop during 99 to see if anything was on sale because I am also eyeing their brushes. I mean, I know, like, I shouldn't be buying more brushes because I just recently got this. But, you know, I was just, like, eyeing kung ano yung price ng kanilang brush set para alam ko lang kung ano yung usual sale price niya. So, I can determine in future sales if worth it ma siyang kunin, you know, pag mas bumagsak pa yung price. Got more shades because I loved, I loved main character from them. I loved its performance. I love how shimmery it is. I've already given you guys my thoughts on that and I'm going to link that video again. Ito yung itsura ng thumbnail so that you can check it out if you want to know my thoughts. Hindi ko na to review you guys, but I'll probably post like an Instagram reel um, showing off the different shades, swatching them and stuff. Again, aesthetic tayo. So the shades that I got is High Spirit 10 over 10, CEO, and Always Extra. Shimmers talaga are just my weakness. They're my kryptonite. Buti na lang that it was like 50% off na timing ko siya. Included in my order is this cushion tint. Like, hindi ko alam that they were going to send this to me. Hindi ko alam kung nagkamali sila or something. Like, hindi lumabas sa order ko na may freebie doon, you know? So, yeah. Cushion tint from them. I'm trying to look for the shade name. A few moments later. Okay, I couldn't really find the shade name. It's not in the box. It's not in the product itself. So, I'll just put siguro yung name na lang dito if I ever find it online. Whichever one is closest. So, yeah. Binigay nila to sa akin. Thank you so much, Lovely Cosmetics. I didn't. I don't know if it's a mistake or freebie siya. But, yeah. Thank you so much. So, that is it. That is everything that I purchased for the past months. Everything that was gifted to me as well by my friends, my husband. I'm really excited to try the ones that I haven't tried yet. Create more content for you guys. I want to take this opportunity to thank every one of you from the bottom of my heart who's watching my videos, who is using my affiliate links. Those earnings talaga help run my channel while also limiting my purchases from going overboard. Like, parang yun na yung low buy ko, right? I don't earn a lot from the affiliate links and from the ad revenue, so it really means a lot from everyone who supports me in either using my affiliate links or watching my videos. I mean, you don't really have to use my affiliate links, you guys. I'm not pushing you to buy anything if you don't want to buy, but it really means a lot to me if you do plan to use my affiliate links whenever you want to shop. So, ayon, that's it for me, you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for all the support that you've given me for the past year. We're now 5,000 subscribers. I really value this community that we've built together. I'm always touched whenever you send me messages on my Instagram, like randomly, out of nowhere, and you have truly inspired me to keep on going, even though that sometimes it's not easy. There's just no words in the English and Tagalog dictionary for me to express how grateful I am. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. So yeah, I'll stop here. Bago ako And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.